Feeding is the most important part of a pig farming venture, but the most expensive. It takes up to 80% of the total recurring budget of raising a pig from birth to the market weight. Samson elaborates on his feeding system at his farm. Ngurwe wetu, wote tunapatia chakula ina moja, na kuwa soa and winner. Wanakula hii chakula kulingana na na umri. Tunaanza na wale watoto when they are wind instantly eh uh, mtoto mmoja anatakiwa akule 0.6 kg. Na wakiendelea hivyo wakifika kama mwezi mtatu hivi anakula kama kilo moja. Kiendelea anakiendelea hivyo endelea kulingana na inch. We have a timetable for feeding. Hawa wanakuwa chakula kidogo kuliko hao wengine. Kwa hivyo kupita hivyo utaona kuna different stages ya chakula ambayo wanapewa. Wagiza ngurwe moja normally anapatiwa 2.5 kg. Lakini ya giza tunaongezea 1/4 kg for every piglet. Usipofanya hivyo ngurwe atapata maziwa ya kuisha watoto. Ngurwe zangu sinakula tu chakula ile natoka kwa nduka. Hakuna chakula ingine hata hata kukiwa na wending. Alafu chakula iwacho hapo. We are told don't give that food because it can contaminate diseases from the people. We don't give any other food rather than some refugees. Kama potato creepers, eh, sukuma wiki mbichi au mboga mbichi au terere mbichi hiyo ni kama a bit of some supplement to give them refuge if pigs are not properly managed they are likely to be affected by diseases such as diarrhea swine flu and pneumonia among others samson ensures that his pigs are well fed and kept under proper hygiene changamoto ile ile napata kwa ngurue ni wakiwa watoto hivi they are wind wind tire a wind unajua wamekuwa introduced kwa chakula eh wakati mwingine wanaweza pata diarrhea ikiwa serious tunapatia antibiotic na ile ile diarrhea ina, ina stop immediately kwa hivyo sija sija pata changamoto ya sana sana ya magonjo hapa tunazuia sana na magonjo mengine yanaletwa na uchafu Hivyo tukikaa hivi tuna tuna tunaosha hii flow na njiki to disinfect ili kutiwa na bacteria ambako chiko, chiko ndani Cleanliness is next to godliness visitors must disinfect their feet to avoid spread of dust and diseases Samson also ensures that his farm is cleaned twice a day Alafu watu wakija wanakanyanga hapo ili wasingize magonjo katika boma ya ngurue wakati wanataka kwenda kwa haja wanaenda kwa kona mahali wanalala hawataki kwenda hapo kwa hivyo wanalala mahali kwa dry ndio unaona uh, ngurue wengine wana uchafu na tunawasha mara mbili lakini wanapenda maji sana kulala mahali kuna maji hata hapo unatakiwa kuwa safi hata hapa kirara eh akuta ya kwamba kuna uchafu hapo at Pentafarm, some of the pigs have an average weight of 150 to 160 kilograms, but Samson says this can exceed to 210 kilograms. Ule mkubwa is between 150 to 160 kg. Lakini ndume anaweza hata ingia 200 kg. Ni hata mwaka mmoja na nusu inakuwa kubwa sana na nakula kilo mbili tu kwa siku moja jioni moja asubuhi Samson does record keeping on his farm to keep tabs on the growth rate and reproduction of his pigs Mimi na record wakati wanapata wana ndume 
Nasema kama ni kiu hii. Alipata andume rini. Naandika kwa kitabu. Naandika eh, served on this date. Expectant delivery date. Kama, kama apati mimba, kuna expectant date when you can expect that uh, anawesa simama wakati huu. Kata simama unajua hakona mimba. Kwa hivyo ni nalaka record na kira kira gure nasema ilisa how many piglets how many angine dain ya kashotis kwa hivyo na hizo record how many piglets do I have how many how many saws how many boas na kuwa na record na nikiuza niko na record niuza ngurue ngapi nipata pesa ngapi what is the expected profit? Hii. Naona? Na wakati mimi nanunua chakula, naweka record. Hii chakula nilinunua this much. From this man, this man nimetumia chakula ya so much. Tunaendelea. Wakati nauza nguruwe na najua ya kwamba I have used so much kulea pigs. Na ile pesa nimepata kutoka mauzo I subtract niona kama kama niko na faida. Samson advises that it is important to scout for market first before investing into a big business. Wewe ku kwanza mradi au biashara bila kujua kama kuna soko. Kwa hivyo turi tulienda kwa Farm Choice wakati katuambia kwanza kwa, ya kwamba tukirisha ngurue kama vile wana, wanataka watatununulia anatazama hizi ngurue anaona kama zinakula vizuri kama wako na good hygiene anasema hii hii na hii itakuwa rende wakati huu na hii toka hapa mpaka hapa ngurue kama 20 au au 30 atakuwa rende mwezi huu kwa hivyo market hakuna problem na market there is ready market au wanatunumia vizuri isipokuwa si vile tunapenda locally we can we can sell better but then locally wananunua kidogo kidogo lakini hao wanachukua zote in bulk wakichukua leo kesho kutwa cheki korendi hao wananunua tana range of 16000 17 locally wanaweza kununua 20000 out of 20 25,000. Despite enjoying all the benefits that come from pig rearing as a business, Samson has encountered several challenges. Changamoto ni infrastructure kuwajengea. Kwa hivyo ni lazima ujue vile vile utapanga. Wakati watazaa utamaliza kama miezi miwili hivi. Na hizi wakati hiyo ni lazima ziwe zimetoka. Sikiwakuta hapo utachanganyikiwa chakula ya nguruwe imekuwa very expensive kama sasa nimeenda kununua 30 bucks kwa Meru Center Farmers can you see that box at 74400 kwa hivyo bei ya gunia moja ni 2570 kama hizi zinakula 200 bucks per day kwa hivyo hizo ngunia laradini takula kama na wiki mbili tu. Kwa hivyo kwa mwezi mmoja itakula kama hadi ya 50,000. Kwa hivyo hiyo ndio changamoto kubwa sana kwa kwa sisi wali eh, wafuaji wa nguruwe. Samson is a very hard working farmer. He takes us through his daily activities from morning when he wakes up until the day ends. Every morning nakuja kutazama ya kwamba nguruwe wamerara vizuri. Eh, naenda round kutazama ya kwamba hakuna nguruwe ako na taabu. Pengine hakuna nguruwe ako mgonjwa. Kiona pengine kuna nguruwe ambaye asikii vizuri na na kwa kumtoa kwa hizo zingine. Niona atambie vina namna gani. Akiwa ikiwa 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 sielewi kwanza ni nini problem na muita daktari wanapatiwa chakula ile kiazi ndio kimeandikwa 
So uh, my 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 workman, wakati anapati anguru chakula, anajua hii cube tapata chakula ya kilongapi na kilongapi. Tunaanza ku kushafisi anguru. Kutoa ile maji liko hapo mleni ili ipate fresh water. Kifanya hivyo hiyo kazi ya siku hiyo asubuhi kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni nakuja sana tunafanya vile vile. Samson would like to expand his business with pig circulation of 200 pigs on his farm. He envisions starting to make his own feeds to curb the challenge of buying expensive commercial feeds. Nikipata msaanda ili ni niwe na chakula yangu ndengeza chakula yangu. Nitaendea na Murandi mpaka nifikishe nguru ya 200. Lakini changamoto ni kwanza ni chakula. If I get the food formulation, naweza kuongezea nguruwe. For one to become a successful farmer, he or she must look for quality breeds, quality feeds and get knowledge from experienced farmers. Ukienda kununua chakula ambayo ni lejareja hivi ambayo inauzwa kwa ila hata rais. Raisi nguruwe wako hawatakuwa vizuri. Kwa hivyo ni lazima ujue ya kwamba utapata chakula wapi na ufanye feasibility study. Ujue ya kwamba au utembelee wale wakulima wazuri ambao wanalisha nguruwe uone vile wa wanalisha nguruwe zao. Kwa hivyo ukianza ovyo ovyo unasanguka. Samson shares nuggets of wisdom important in a pig farming venture. Wapate mazomo kwanza. Without education about rearing of pigs, we cannot succeed. So I will advise them before they start rearing pigs. Waende wapate mazomo, mazomo ya kutosha. Ili wakianza mulandi, wasije wa kapotea. We hope you've enjoyed the show. Catch more of pig farming stories on Smart Pigs every Monday to Wednesday from 7 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. on me on KTN from us TV.